Let's start with a little experiment. I'll play a tone, say 150 hertz. Then I'll play another tone that's 160 hertz. Do you hear that pulsating sound? I'll tune it down a bit. That pulsating or wobbling sound is called an acoustic beat. Whenever two waves meet, they always interfere with each other, either constructively or destructively. And you can clearly hear the result. A binaural beat works differently. For this part, you'll need to be wearing stereo headphones. If you aren't wearing headphones right now, pause the video and put them on. Okay, I'll play a tone in your left ear. If you hear this in your right ear, it means your headphones are on backwards, but it's okay, it doesn't actually matter. Now we'll play a slightly different tone in your other ear. There you go, the wobble has returned. However, in this case, the two sound waves aren't actually interacting. The wobble is produced when the left and right halves of your brain communicate with each other. If you don't believe me, just lift up one of your headphones. See? Just a pure tone. And the other one? Also a pure tone, slightly different. Put them both back on, and the wobble returns. This is called a binaural beat. Also, auditory brainstem response, frequency following response, and brainwave entrainment. Fascinating. Binaural basically means two ears. Binaural beats only work if you listen with stereo headphones. If you play these tones through regular speakers, the sound waves will be altered before they hit your brain, and you'll get a regular acoustic beat. In a binaural beat, both ears are hearing different tones, the sounds are not actually bumping into each other, and the beat is generated entirely by the brain. And, as you can hear, the beat is in fact a real thing. It happens in humans and animals. Okay, big deal, you say. I hear a weird wobbling sound. So what? Why are people so excited about binaural beats? Learn more in the next video.